The charm of comic books and graphic novels is not limited to children and the young. Maybe it never was, but I think you will agree in India, now more than ever, the craze of this amazing medium of storytelling is growing. Hello, Namaskar, welcome, Swagatam. First of all, to clarify, what I am talking about is not the mainstream superhero comics like Marvel and DC. Those and their adaptations exist in a completely different dimension. I am talking about limited series comics, graphic novels, etc. Today's talk comes on the back of the trailer release of Charlie's Theron starrer Netflix film, The Old Guard. The movie is set to release worldwide on Netflix next month, so this is not a review of the movie. But after reading the five issue first volume of the comic book on which this movie is based, I thought it is worth a discussion with you. Just a few days ago, we talked about another comic book adaptation on Netflix, The Last Days of American Prime. And a few weeks before that, it was Extraction. Last year, Netflix aired The Umbrella Academy. It was a series which was good in a light but spooky kind of way but resembled the X-Men universe all too much for my taste. There was Polar, the movie starring Max Mikkelsen based on a webcomic released last year. Not to mention The Walking Dead, Lucifer and iZombie which are basically network shows now streaming on Netflix. Kinda seeing a trend here, isn't it? That is not to say that these comic book and graphic novel adaptations are bad. But, well, they aren't exactly queuing up to become cult classics or something either. So, now we have The Old Guard, the comic by Greg Ruka and Leandro Fernandez, published by Image Comics. This comic is now being adapted into a movie featuring an explosive cast of Charlize Theron, Chiwetel Ejiofor and Kiki Lane. The cast has me hyped about the movie, but the source material, well, let us talk about what happened after I read the comics. Now, if you want to have a chance to watch this movie without any idea about the plot or the source material, please pause this video, add it to your watch later list and wait for the movie to come out. So let's proceed. Right off the bat, let me just tell you, I found the premise of the story to be quite good. A fresh take on immortality. The protagonist Andy is a leader of a small pack of immortals. They mostly keep to themselves but do deploy their skills for contract jobs. Because well, having secrets, maintaining hideouts and safe houses and weapons, lots of weapons, it takes money. Their immortality is unexplained. They don't know how it came to be or how they can sense others with the same quality, same immortality. And obviously, there is no immortality factor that can be extracted or uh, transmitted. And with immortality comes the weight of anonymity and hiding, which is obviously becoming increasingly difficult in today's age of cameras, mobiles and computers. And there is a new kind of uncertainty in this immortality, as in the story tells us about previous immortals who are now dead without any explanation. That really adds to the suspense in the story. As the story starts, this gang finds themselves lured into a trap, a proverbial kill box. But of course, these guys can't be killed, so they dispatch their opposition in short order, only to find it was a ruse to record their abilities and bring their existence to light. At the same time, they discover a new recruit to join to their ranks. What follows is an action-packed journey into finding the responsible person and making them pay. As it stands, the climax and the twist are quite predictable and kind of cliched. When someone discovers an immortal, his primary thought would be to try to get the immortality extracted from them. There is a betrayal also in this story and again, quite run-of-the-mill motivation. So far, just average. What adds flavor and depth to the story is the part in between the action. The flashbacks are delicately handled and they not only exist to show how old these immortals exactly are, but also to exhibit the emotions behind their tough and violent exteriors. Their stories, their past make you root for them, not just the fact that they are the good guys and the other guys are bad. In today's day and age, black and white, good and evil aren't always well demarcated. It is all a matter of perspective. 
one is better than someone else just because that person is more crooked than the first one. In this world, one man's advantage is another man's envy and as it happens, immortality is a giant advantage. Still, I wouldn't say this is an impressive and unique story which uh, screams to be adapted to the big screen. The thing that I disliked the most in this story was the newcomer. The newest member of the gang, Nile, well, it could be expected that she would bring a new perspective to the group, thinking outside the box and doing things the others wouldn't or couldn't do. But she is mainly kept as the medium through which the readers are told about the rules of this world, about their immortality, their past and all that. There is one small revelation that is owed to Nile, which led to finding out of the betrayer of the group. But that is it. After that, she is just some added firepower. More death to Nile is to be expected in the next volume, I guess. See, when I saw the trailer for the upcoming movie after finishing the comic, my interest in this movie decreased a hundredfold. The first reason for that is this cocky dialogue. Throughout history, we've protected this world, fighting in the shadows. Well, maybe in the movie this group is depicted in a different light, but purely from the experience of reading the comic book, just because these people were alive and fighting in all the major wars of history doesn't necessarily mean that they were shaping the course of the world. Secondly, from the source material, I know the story is too simple and cliched. So a bunch of scientists trying to unlock the genetic code for immortality just ain't gonna cut it. The movie will most probably probably rely heavily on action and from what we have seen from Charlie Theron's Atomic Blonde, we can expect great action. Especially with that cool two-sided axe that her character Andy wields. Anyway, all in all, I'll start watching this movie with my fingers crossed. I don't have high hopes. What do you think? Tell me how excited you are for the old guard, the movie. If you have read the comics, I would like to know if you liked it and which part of the story appealed to you the most. Do let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section. If you liked my discussion of the old guard comic, do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with all your friends. I will be back soon with another discussion or a video on any other topic. Please do subscribe to my channel The Versatile Doctor to stay tuned with me. And do not forget to click the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of all my uploads. This is all from my side for today. You were with The Versatile Doctor. My name is Dr. Abhinav Atul and it has been my pride and privilege to be able to connect with you through this video. Namaskar.